Hello, I'm Jeffrey Smith. In this lesson, we'll be using AutoCAD to design a three-dimensional table based on a shaker design that can be exported into an animation software program such as 3ds Max. Pay particular attention to the construction of the legs, which uses the loft command. Unlike the extrude tool function, the loft command allows you to create more supple shapes. Once the table has been exported into an animation program such as 3ds Max, you will be able to animate the drawer for a final presentation. Good luck! For lesson one, we're going to construct a leg for the shaker table. So let's confirm that we are in the correct viewport. So let's make sure we're in 3D modeling from the taskbar below and with the top view. And then on the ribbon above, we're going to go to the draw menu and select the circle tool. So we'll select the circle and we are going to go type in 0 comma 0 comma 0 for the x, y, and z coordinates and the radius is going to be point 0.5 or half an inch and select enter and then if you on the window select the top view or go to the ribbon above and select top it should center it and we probably want to just confirm that we've done this right so go to annotation and go to radius and select the circle and just confirm that it's at half an inch radius and we don't need this so go ahead and delete it or erase it and you can inspect this if you need to look at an isometric view and make sure that the Z is going up and that you're working in the X and the Y plane. So then we're going to draw another circle. This time it's going to be 0, comma, 0, comma, 8. So 8 is going to be on the Z coordinate. 0, comma, 0, comma, 8. And press enter. And then the radius for this will be 0.875. And press enter. So if you've done this correctly, it should be above the first circle. And you really need to inspect this because sometimes when you do this, it may be farther away, but it may appear though it's directly above it. So you need to rotate around the center axis on the Z coordinate. And we're going to actually do this again. So let's get into a viewport that we're comfortable working and go to the circle tool function and type in 0 comma 0 comma 20 and 20 is on the Z axis and then for the radius go ahead and type in 1 and press enter. And then if you collect, select any isometric view you should see three circles. And then again it's it's imperative that these circles are all around a central axis. And this is the z-axis here. So now we're going to find the loft command and that's below the extrude on the ribbon or just go ahead and type in loft L O F T and select the circles you have to select them in a row so either from the bottom of the top or in this case from the top to the bottom it's hard to see what just happened so press loft and then press enter and you usually have to press enter at least one or two times and you can read what's happening from the menu below and then go to a conceptual or a shaded view and you should see this is a much more sculptural shape whereas the extrusion is straight when you do a loft command now this would typically if it's a wooden leg would be turned to make this type of a shape so 
it is actually going smaller as it goes down and so we've lofted it. However, the shaker table needs to have a rectangular block above this. So for the first corner of this box, the solid surfacing here, I'm going to type 1 comma 1 comma 20. And you should be able to move your mouse around and see where that is. So it's on the Z coordinate at 20 inches. And then for the other point, we're going to type in minus 1 comma minus 1 for the X and the Y. And then we'll make it, we'll stay on the 20. So there it is at right above the lofted leg. And then the height of this, let's go ahead and type in, it's going to be six and a half inches, so type in 6.5 and type in enter. Okay, so you should see the rectangle above the leg. So we made a solid object. So essentially we've created the leg here and you really need to inspect it and make sure that it's all around the same axis and rotate around it using the isometric view or the orbit and once you've inspected it you've completed the lesson so make sure everything looks fine and we'll finish on the isometric view.